Hey, Lucid. What's up, dude? Avoiding doing chores? Dude, that's my jam right there. I can't do that right now, Cappy. I've got to stream Mass Effect. <laughs> hey, Baka and Mom. Rex was terminated by Ashley Williams during the mission on Vermeer. Caden was killed on Vermeer. Council was lost. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever. And still, it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
Get to the damn shuttle. I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here. <laughs> Shepard! Get the hell out of here! What's up, John? That was way too loud. I cranked my mic up too high. Whoops. Sorry about that. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Thanks for hanging out, Amos. You'll have time to catch up tomorrow, though. Because I won't be streaming tomorrow.
That looks pretty damn close. Select a bonus. Probably Reeve. Reeve is really good. Yeah, I'll do Reeve. <laughs> we can rebuild him, but we don't want to spend a lot of money. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Uh-oh. Wake up, Commander. His voice actor's a little better in this one. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. It was a little stiff in Mass Effect 1. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. He loosens up a lot in two and three. Ah, this pistol arm. doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Oh, the mouse sensitivity is really high. Uh, input. Really? Okay, I'll just get used to it. <laughs> There's no setting. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks goes to eight. That goes to two. That's four. Uh, I don't have my other abilities yet. We'll leave Reeve. Leave Reeve on three. This was lift. No, this was push, lift. Five was something else. Six was pew 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 pew. Oop, that there. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get into the shuttles. I'm so used to hitting shift for run. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. does this game ba differ from previous gameplay of the previous games? The difference between 1 and 2 is huge. The difference between 2 and 3 is very minor.
Oh, do we do your actions impact the next game drastically? Yeah, there's dead people now. People are dead because of what I did. They've seen us. Take the elevator down one floor. Hurry, get to the door. Run. You're doing great, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Chef, it's me. I've got things closing in on my position. <laughs> Shot him in the poopers. If you've not played the previous games, they make you choose decisions. I think they call it the comic book intro. new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Not special. Not biotics. Yeah, I'm biotic. Hostile forces have engaged. proximity warning. I have to tell him to do it, don't I? Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. 
She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the Lower Decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the Non-Alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if Check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Noise. Also, no, he does not have X-ray vision. I wish. Activating. Damn it. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Have a nice trip. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shepard! Oh god! I'm hit! Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. <laughs> Maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? 
I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Where's my mouse? Yeah! That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit, that was so much okay, easier. Okay, we took him down. <laughs> but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? Yeah. This really isn't the time, Jacob. <laughs> we won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. We're almost at the shuttle. We've been spotted. Get me off your damn scope! System failing. Hey, what's up, Nalu? See my shepherd post? What was your reaction? Was that the one with shepherd and shepherd with sheep? Yeah, was that the one with shepherd with the with a bunch of sheep around him? Er? Because if so, yes. figure out who one of them was. There was one that just had like a little swoosh. The one Liara was imagining. I think she wasn't imagining. I think she was lifting them. Oh yeah, because it was blue. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't figure out who that was. The test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. 
The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Now we're good. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension, and you killed Saren, what happened next? With the Council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new Council. I recommended Ambassador Udina to lead it. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Bad test, because they gave him all the answers and just asked why he did the things. Instead of being like, who did you have to leave behind on Vermeer? Yeah. It's basically, it was the, the elusive game's... elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Woman, I'm talking. Um... It was basically the game's way of figuring out what your previous decisions were. Like why you did them. Yeah. Is Miranda a bad person? Yeah, she's fucking terrible. I mean, <laughs> is she a bad guy? Oh, she's not a bad guy. I don't know. You could be a bad guy, but you don't have to be a bad guy. You can still be a bad guy and do good things. He brought you back to life. Yeah. Yes, I know what you're doing. Don't worry, I get the right. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Question. You're being the elusive man. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Yeah. Uh. Let's 
increase me storm speed, increase shields, weapon reserve ammo, power damage and shield strength, health and regen bonus, heavy weapon ammo, shields and health. Ugh. Shield strength by 5%. Increase power damage by 5%. Health by 5. I wish it would stay not so I can stop scrolling up. Power damage by 5%, okay. I mean, everybody's, a, everybody's a, I'm a bastard, I just think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the way I liken it, like, everyone kind of thinks your character's a dick right now, but you're just doing what you think is right, and that's kind of how she is. Whoa. That was very pink. Okay, that's that. Where's purple? Clement. What are your thoughts? That I want you to be happy. Shh, that sounds lame. Alright, orange and pink. No. I, like the like idea, that. Uh. I like the idea of like something like that where the accents are purple and the whole armor isn't purple. Because I think when the armor is completely purple, it's a little overwhelming. It almost looks comical in a way, you know? Yeah. I think do black. That's a little more matte. Ha <laughs> ha! That's me! <laughs> That's really dumb. Oh, good god. No, we're not doing that. I like, I like that one. Yeah, because, I kind of like this yeah, one. Yeah, because he's a little more, um... I mean, he's a, you know... I know you're not pure renegade or pure whatever, but he's got a lot of, like... I wonder if his... Hold on. <laughs> hold on. This is gonna be great. Where is it? Is that not an option anymore? No, I guess not. Okay. Maybe that's in Mass Effect 3 where they give you the option for helmet on or off during conversations. I'd love to have a conversation just looking at somebody like that. <laughs> hey. The last outfit? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The last yeah. Uh, casual outfit. I guess it's just there for the people who want to be like... Um... Part of the village people? No, I was... <laughs> I was going to say like a Han Solo type. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, gay cowboys yeah, are props. Yeah, it's totally fine, but... But it does come it across does, a little gay cowboy. Right, it's not reading Han Solo to me, it's reading... Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. 
A necessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. It's not unusual. Sorry, I'm testing my audio settings. I had this set here. That's... That feels a little too high. Let's turn that down a little bit. Talking normally towards the screen here. Testing, testing. That's not too bad. How's my volume sound right there? Does that sound okay? I want to make sure I'm not, like, too loud either. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? Oh, I don't talk over people. Regardless. I want to make sure you can hear me over, like, gunfire and shit like that. That's my concern. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard. Just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like oh. service. We're committed. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. What do you mean you've never seen Sovereign die? Weren't you here for the end of the last... for Mass Effect 1? If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Oh, fuck yeah, level 4. I just started the game level 51, so... <laughs> I think we're doing good. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. 
As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? <laughs> I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I like how it's like, I was hoping to get to know you as a person after you just called her a bitch. Yeah. Like that's Why are you such a bitch? I just want to get to know you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, mm, I don't know. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. <laughs> Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Trust me. I don't look ridiculous. He looks super, super cool. The coolest. <clears throat> it's an increase to biotic power. I'm using it. <laughs> you didn't use it last time, did you? Nope. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? It's really ridiculous, though. <laughs> it so is. He'll take it, yeah. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second-guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. 
Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. So I have a submachine gun now, as well as a heavy pistol. So, yeah, like that. Okay. So, lift isn't a thing anymore. They replaced lift with pull. Shockwave. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And we'll put Shockwave here when we get it. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Oh, there was stuff there, like credits or something. That was easy. Right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. 
Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Elizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, <laughs> tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit. Why would your own commander work for Cerberus? I don't know. But if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. Excuse me. Requesting assistance. Why are they making these so easy? <clears throat> I heard you failed a whole bunch of the other time. I mean, you're not wrong. Excuse me, Miranda. Use overload on them. Happy? There we go. Perfect. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch him. Oh shit, hello. Shepard, you take point. Taking cover! Grabbing cover! Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door.
Max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. Rip. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. No! I didn't do shit. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Oh. It's Tali. Hey, girl. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Bye. It's probably in there. Yeah, what's my quick save button? Five and nine, okay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Yo, what's up, Boland? The answer to your question, you'll find it out in just a second. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. You're... not one of them. You're human. They... they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. 
The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Cool, man. I love Christopher Odd. He's awesome. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. On a side note, we're doing a giveaway right now. Exclamation point giveaway in the chat to earn, to, uh, to enter to win a chance to get three Mass Effect posters. Did that make any sense at all? I mean, you got there. It sounded like a lot of rambling. <laughs> I'm not good at English. It's my first and only language, but that doesn't mean anything. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. <laughs> the Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Mm -hmm. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave but they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy, but 
But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. I don't know who that is. Where's Ashley Williams? Well, we ask She's still it. with the Alliance. Promoted, it, I believe. Her file is surprisingly is. well classified. Or just, never mind. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I, I need it. more it's intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Be Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the Elusive Man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. <laughs> and then the credits start rolling you're like holy shit that was a short game what the fuck didn't really feel like i did anything i know right do you want more no 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 <laughs> why are you gonna look at me like that you suck thanks <laughs> Typical. Is 
so big. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, there's a lady, uh, lady reads your email. I forgot her name. I was going to say Gabby, but that's the girl down in engineering. Kelly? Is Kelly her name? That's what Fock is guessing. Or what did you work at? Work, 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 work. I was testing out my new, um, your new DJ. Rec your DJ scratcher or whatever. Yeah, that's not just how I talk all the time. Work, 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 work. you're the one that's bad at speaking English, but they don't know Welcome me. aboard, Commander. <laughs> Siri, yeah. 